Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about LL1 table construction. So, LL1 is a predictive parsing technique using non-recursive method. In our previous class, we clearly discussed about predictive parsing method using recursive method. There, we already discussed about the disadvantage that we are going to face with the recursion method. In order to eliminate those disadvantages, we are using table method here. LL1 is a table method. Please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, here in this class, we will understand how to construct the table. In our next classes, we are going to understand how the given input string will be accepted using this LL1 parsing table and what are the disadvantage, what are the failure situations in LL1 grammar. All those things will be discussed in our next class. Coming to this LL1, ta LL1 table construction, this is a top down predictive parsing using table method. It is a top-down approach means it is going to start from the starting input grammar symbol means starting non-terminal symbol and it is going to construct in a top-down approach. From there it is going to construct that is how this uh, LL1 grammar works. To avoid recursion we are using table. Now coming to understand what's this LL1 means. L first L stands for scanning input from left to right. We are scanning input from left to right. Second L stands for producing leftmost derivation. So leftmost we are producing the leftmost derivation for the given grammar. So that's why in the top down approach. That is what happening here. It is going to produce a leftmost derivation for the given input string. One stands for looking ahead one input symbol. In our previous class also, the predictive parsing technique is using a recursion also taking one input symbol look ahead. So here also LL1 is going for the one look ahead input symbol. So based on the exemption that you already know what's look ahead symbol, all those discussions were made in previously in our previous classes. Now coming to the table construction, let's try to understand step by step how to do the table construction for a given, con uh, given grammar. This is the grammar which we are considering uh, and in our last classes we already discussed about this grammar. This is a grammar for identifying the mathematical expressions contains plus and star symbol that solves the predic predictive uh, precedence and uh, associative conditions. So for this grammar, we are going to find the first and follow. How to, how to find the first and follow symbols that uh, already discussed. These are the outputs of the first and follow symbols that we got for this uh, grammar. So we are not explaining how to calculate first and follow. So this is what you have to do first. After doing this, uh, in order to construct this LL1 table, you need to follow two conditions. What's those conditions? For each production, A tends to alpha. Do the following. You take any production from our grammar, A tends to alpha. We have to follow two steps. What's those two steps? For each terminal A in first of alpha, add A tends to alpha to M of A comma A, A capital A comma small A. Anyhow, this is not the way we, we are going to understand. With example, you can understand better. You take a production. E tends to T E dash. What are the first of E symbols? ID comma open brackets. So add this production. Add this production at E ID. Add E tends to T E dash. E open brackets. Add this production a tends to alpha at this first symbols that is what the meaning of this first statement add a tends to alpha to m of capital a comma small a small a means it's the first symbol what are the first symbols id this goes to capital uh, small a so, uh, capital a means e that is what the meaning of capital a comma small a for each terminal a in first of alpha we have to add that so e tends to t e dash what's the first of e id comma open brackets in place of id in place of open brackets we have to add this production that is what we have to do that is the first statement coming to the second statement if epsilon is in first of alpha if epsilon is there in first of alpha add a tends to epsilon to all the follow symbols 
the production a tends to epsilon should be added to all the follow symbols so uh, we'll understand with an example take this e dash tends to plus t e dash or epsilon what is first of e dash plus comma epsilon if epsilon is there in the first symbols we have to add e dash tends to epsilon to all the follow symbols so e dash tends to plus t e dash or epsilon what is the first symbols for e dash plus comma epsilon so what we do here is e dash plus here we have to add e dash tends to plus t e dash this is what the first statement says for all the first symbols we have to add this production e dash tends to plus t e dash what is the first symbol plus e dash tends to epsilon should be added to all the follow symbols what are follow symbols dollar comma open bracket so that's why e dash tends to epsilon e dash tends to epsilon is added to open bracket a closed bracket comma dollar this is how we add now coming to the t dash t tends to f t dash what is first of t id comma open bracket there is no epsilon only first first condition says wherever there is id comma id you have to add this production in place of open brackets add this production so id t t tends to f t dash open brackets t t tends to f t dash now coming to the next one t dash tends to star f t dash or epsilon so what is the first of t dash star epsilon in place of t dash comma star add this production t dash tends to star f t dash in place of follow symbols add t dash tends to epsilon so t dash star add this t dash tends to star f t dash in place of epsilon in place of follow symbols what are the follow symbols plus closed bracket dollar add the production t dash tends to epsilon t dash plus t dash tends to epsilon t dash closed bracket t dash tends to epsilon t dash dollar symbol t dash tends to epsilon so this is how we add the productions next coming to the and the last one this is important to understand everyone will make mistakes here f tends to so id or epsilon or uh, sorry it is not epsilon it is a closed bracket e it is not epsilon this is what the production is we made a mistake here so first of f what is first of f id comma open bracket here we are having two production f tends to id is one production f tends to open bracket e closed bracket this is another production so we got the first symbols of the what are the first symbols for f id how we got this id from which production we got this id f tends to id so in place of f id we will add the production f tends to id how we got this open bracket symbol f tends to open brackets e closed bracket because of this production we got a first symbol open bracket for f that's why this production should be added at open bracket f open bracket f tends to open bracket e closed bracket this production should be added at open bracket this is how we have to add the symbols this is how we construct the ll1 table in our next classes we are going to discuss how we use this table in in order to elaborate the given expression acceptance of that expression how we do that that we are going to discuss in our next uh, class hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you